Having cleared away megatons of debris from the asteroid, VSS Takar has uncovered an ancient structure millions of years old. Welcome back, everyone. This is Panic and Grill with Stan, and we are back with some more Stellar Star Trek New Horizons mod. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And if you guys missed the videos earlier this week, we are doing a slight competition here on the channel, more of a giveaway than a competition. It is an Easter egg that I will place in one video throughout the week. So each week there will be an Easter egg in one video. So you'll have to find that Easter egg in the video. Get the, give me the timestamps in the comments of that video and you will receive a $10 gift card or cash app directly from me. However, if you do not find the Easter egg from that week, and it will be going from Sunday to Saturday. So by that Saturday, if no one has found the Easter egg for that week in any of the videos, I will be rolling that $10 over the next week. So that next week, it'll be $20 to find the Easter egg. Because once that Saturday is over with, and I'm going to say probably around midnight Saturday night, I will end the the Easter egg giveaway at that point in time and it will roll into the next week so be on the lookout for that it is something to do with the channel so you just have to keep your eyes out so let's jump into it this is where we last left off with the Federation as you guys can see here we are we're getting pretty big we're extending pretty much all over the place here let's go through and uh, take care of our some of our uh, planets are needing some things um probably wouldn't hurt to get some food or maybe some supplies going on excuse me I lost my train of thought all right got something going on there and here's our shipyard start bases we're all good we don't need to see that right now armies observations and factions i want to make sure all these are they should be peaceful it's a whole lot of observations which means a whole lot of client people within the, our territories right now so we have some idle leaders relics still available two that we have of course we have some water ice and deuterium that's over flowing and let's check out our missions that we are currently on do we have that marked yes we do do we have a ship currently going vacation yes we do have a ship we have flocks is coming in to investigate that and figure out what that's about and our other one is funding the galactic market um that should have been on soul on earth let's get that pumped out again we're gonna boost our nomination bid that's gonna cost us a hefty penny but we're still gonna do it we're gonna keep going there are a bunch of people upset with us because we we're expanding our territories particularly right up in there i believe but the bleeding thing will stop jumping all over the place. So we got Klingons rolling through. Heavy cruiser. Tell our prime ships in the area. I'll block this over here out. Gonna head to the next one. Alright, a flotilla of civilian transports carrying Krylos refugees from the Suba Sulaban Cabal have arrived in our space. They have allowed uh, they have been allowed to settle on Tau Seti. So Tau Seti's economy is going to get hit. Not necessarily a bad thing, but we have some unemployment. So we need to get that taken care of. And I believe we're going to get some entertainment going because this planetary system, or this system does not have that. Nor the Klingons. They're just upset about us pushing out a little bit further. Particularly because of that more than likely. Get our observation post and then we'll hit those three up. They're heading over to Eagle 12. But I wonder why we can't put anything because there's a um, Trillium D right there. That'd be great if we could put in a, a outpost there, but it wouldn't let us do it just a second ago. It wasn't even showing up. Expand diplomatic outreach. Who are we going to go to this time? Uh, Trill, Saurian, Plan, Sulaban. Canopian. Let's go to the provisional government of Bajor. All right, that worked out with the permanent government in Bajor to do that. Let's see, do we have, we have administration, so we need 
Let's see. Oh, well, I didn't get to see what that was. Oh, check that out. That's a weird looking system. See why I want it. Let us do that. I don't get it. Don't get it. it will not allow me to put in a star base there. And it will not let me put in a star base here. I understand why it does that. If you guys know, let me know because that's kind of crazy. That's bullshit, really. Ah, uh, Lord. Lord. Why are you going to make me make me your rival? All right. It says we can't do it to them. All right. Breen and the Frangi have made peace. Jump drive travel, spore drive. It's been researched. We'll go into tactical next. And let's pull our two people out of here because for whatever reason, we can't do this. So let's get him up here and research this anomaly. You can head back up to Capella. So I'm not being able to do in either either system there. That's it, it's that's crazy. And get all the way down there to Ventex, but I can't get this one. It has a huge planet there. Oh well. This too shall pass. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's get our fleets upgraded. Cruiser, heavy cruiser. Who passed away? Scientist Brianna Kow Kowalski. Let's see, where is she at? Eagle 12. Alright, so who can we put in there? Can we put Sung in there? He's not on anything. Eric Sung. Why do we have all these other um, scientists? Where is the leaders? Okay. Why do we have all these... So of all I want to keep because it just is, you know, who he is. Uh, this one here, dismiss. We don't need you. You can dismiss as well. I don't have you doing anything. Fence, Maxwell Forest, scientist, no orders. Oh, because they should have orders. We'll fix that. Delu, Phlox, Shran. General, the other scientists, no orders, and and Travis Mayweather. All right, so Eagle Twelve, get back to surveying. Upgrade. Where is this one at? Right, let's get mining stations taken care of. So we got a little pop marks here and there. Bang, bang, right there. There's a couple up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And then right over here, we got a couple offshoots there, there, there. So we do have a few little. Um, bit of territories outside of our main hub of influence I guess you could say all of our fleets are upgraded I don't need to be doing that it's too dang I'm early alright Rajalian Consortium made peace with Sona Command um, becomes a subject under so the Rajalian Consortium is now a subject of Sona Command so here's Sona Command there is the Rajalian Consortium First fleet, second fleet, third fleet, and our construction ship. All good, or excuse me, science ship. All good to go. All right, let's do lander, lander pod wing. All right, this is the nebula investigation. <clears throat> Following weeks of investigation, flocks in the USS at Civé have completed their cataloging investigation into their assigned nebula. The investigation is interesting and wielded a number of rare materials that Phlox was able to collect. The search they will bring back in the USS Frostlands will have the scientists back on the ship interested for months on end. All right, so they're in the briar patch. Let's get them. Hmm. We can get a, a good amount. Oh, here we go first contact we'll take care of that real quick we got an envoy on that huh. let's see let's see they're leaving out they're heading up to do that they're heading out so trying to, to debate where I should put the next star base just in case probably here yeah yeah, yeah. upgrade sorry all right, we'll get that one upgraded, get a shipyard, and we'll just send everyone there when they're finished. The prior patch included there. Um, man, 
Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those colonized worlds are right down here. So we're going to slowly try to go through these guys and get them to um, become part of the Federation. There's two in Valkus. Warp capable. A lot of these are warp capable. Let's keep that that. Let's check out our research that we got done. And we can go on to engineered crop fields. Why is he still building, uh, upgrading a Nimitz class? Why do we still have a Nimitz class? That's Nimitz. That's a Nimitz. All right, that's something we need to get fixed right away. So, all right, there's another one. We're gonna have to take care of that real quick too. All right, so Dracona Shipyard. Cruiser. All right, so there's the Frangies. You see how big they are. Greens are out this way. A little bit of yellow up in there, so that means the Frangie are pushed out this good ways, out this way as well. Romulans, not sure about what all they control, but it looks like they're all up in this area as well. A little bit of opening in here. Let's see what we got. Tactical is now completed. Let's go with the PXK Pigrom Re Reactor. All right. Richard Daystrom is now a acting officer. I'm going to go through these fleets real quick because I want to wipe out these damn Nimitz classes. We do not use Nimitz classes anymore. Not that they have been retired, but they will be retired soon. All right. Let's see what we got into. Okay. This is the Federation that we went with. Poppy Nimitz. Amenities usage is down. Building cost is down. Crime is down. Stability up. Let's do that one. Starfleet Medical. All right. We need to finish up the construction down here has become has borne fruit all right our marketing campaign on earth has has borne fruit and the marketing powers to be have seen fit to centralize much of their activity within the soul system all right that means we are going to be getting a lot of traffic and a lot of trade through the soul system which is great for us you see a couple other places popped up we need to get another construction ship up here i might want to check into that Ah, construction ships. What do you got going on? Kale. Kale, come on up here. Make sure that another one's down lower. Finish that up. Um, diplomatic outreach. Noblian. We'll go high. That was good. It bore fruit for this on for us on that as well. Ah, uh, who passed away this time? Maxwell Forrest. Thing. All right, so testing the fire frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storms systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit with winds often approaching speeds of excess 700 meters a second. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent as we have found nothing of the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Okay, I think that was here, right? So do we study this? No. There's nothing else for you to study. Eagle 12 has been completely searched. We can put a star base there, though. All right, so let's see what we got. We got some research to take care of. Lander pod, wing. Let's go shuttle two. Research station done. That's between them guys. Eagle 12. They're using trade embargo against us. All right, somebody popped up over here a little bit. Antikin packs. Okay. Antikin packs are right down here. So let's get Sung back to. What do you mean there's no route? Oh, they're not going to let me go that way, huh? Okay, then. That sucked. All right, so we'll just put another star base right in here too. Then, looks like we're gonna have to fight back to get anywhere in this. So, make damn sure they know that we're here. Man, we're not leaving anytime soon. I can't get across. That's the problem. I don't think it's gonna let me try to pop it. See what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do that. 
and a lot of stuff to do. Are they still building ships? Yep, gotta wait. Reactor, let's go cybernetic. There we go. I said that might upset them a little bit more. Oh well. There will be a few more places like that too. Right. We will update or upgrade our ships as soon as the uh, new ships come in and, are, and arrive in. I don't think we need a shipyard. We're going to do energy weapon and trade depot. And we already have traffic control. All right. We've detected the presence of pre light alien civilization on Akala 4. Akali 4. Okay. We'll just put an observation post there when we get a chance to. Um, do it again. Trade. Let's go. Truck yeah. Do things a little bit better for us around this area. Cancel that. And send him to be upgraded. Alright. See what's going on here. A routine periodic sensor sweep of the United Federation of Planets Space has detected that an asteroid EUD 937 in the 26th Draconis system may be more than just a collection of ice and rubble after a weak power signature was detected within the body. Okay then. An outbreak of Katarian pox has been reported on DX Council 3 and DX Council system. Uh, while the local quarantine has so far succeeded in containing the infection within a handful of settlements on the planet, it may soon spread if untreated. Authorities have requested the dispatch of a medical team to the planet immediately. Oh Lord, I'm gonna stop now. Nope. After a long and distinguished career with the United States Federation of Planets, it is time for April Pendescott to consider the career options and potential retirement. All right, they can retire from active service. They can remain in active service. <coughs> Move to a teaching role. Let's say you retire from active service. Or do we say remain? Let's just let them remain because in the long run things, they're gonna probably going to pass away eventually soon anyway. So, hey, what's it going to hurt? All right, so you are now letting me get through here. Sure Knights are now allowing me to pass through their system. I really don't need to. I need to hold tight. All right. We got a few more of our ships complete. Four heavy cruisers there. They are the Constitution class. I got two here. And I have two in 26 trick on us. We're going to have to do a couple more in each one. But we need a lot more uh, alloys to in order to get that done. But, oh, planet's got a lot of work that needs to be done too. All right, so you guys are needing, well, you have some work that needs to be done. Um, give you the mining network. This administration, let's do trading. Animal car, you're gonna do trading. Pin jam. Pin jam, let's do supplies. Let's do alloys, actually. Think about it. Where are you at? How are you foundries? There we go. All right, so those three are working on stuff now. Let's see what else they can get done. Ah, forgot about that. Let me pause that for a minute. Get all these fleets cleared out, and we got to go in here and deal with this pox and that as well. So let's can we send in a medical team? Okay. All right, so they're back. I guess they're on their way to do that. We're going to go ahead and implement lockdown as well. Um, we need a science ship. I thought we had a science ship there. Do we not? How uh, do you not have a science 26 track on the system? I'm sitting here looking at the science ship. All right, so let's check it out and see what happens now. So it's bumped up a little bit. So they're, they're starting to get there. I want to know what this... Uh, let's just close the con console for right now. I don't... I guess he's searching it or something i'm not sure what he's doing over here hmm. the united federation of planets diplomatic service has arranged a high level conference with chairman hop milk buds administration on packland center or packland plan i kind of figured it was the packlands the way that name was um 
Jonathan Archer has been selected to transport the Federation Planets delegation and offer full support while the conference is in progress. Let's see, because I do not have the Enterprise at this moment, so I don't know where Archer is particularly at. Space dock. Um, we can do that one right there, Earth Space Dock. We'll get rid of Delu and put Archer on that. All right, I need Jonathan Archer, 96-year-old, Jesus. All right, let's go. I could have been the Admiral. I'll do science ship. <coughs> All right. So Archer's on his way over to the Pact on Homeworlds to discuss something with them. Not sure exactly what that would be, but they're going to be discussing some things. And we are going to be doing some stuff. Okay, this is getting better. Let's go ahead and bump that. It's getting better. It's getting better. It's not a concern. It's getting better. I don't know why they just automatically assume when that goes down to something bad is going to happen and not something good. All right, so Eagle 12, Eagle 12. Can Eagle 12 get to here? Nope, oh, cannot get to there. Why can't I get there? And now they're closing the doors. Give you a better chance. Uh, Give you a bigger stick, maybe. Try improving relations with them. Cybernetics has been explored. Let's get monthly plus. You have Administrator Sarek and Administrator Gaff. He's headed to the pack from the system. He's still researching. He could be upgraded. And he is doing an investigation on that. Let's go listening post. And the reason I'm doing listening posts is that I can watch the Orions and the Cardassians in this bottom side sector. Um, I don't have time for that right now. I need all the... Uh, damn scientists and stuff that I can get to do other shit. Alright, so the flock, I mean the um, pox is getting uh, controlled now. That'll be uh, better better on down the road. Alright, let's check it out. Let's get that um, hole points up and let's get permanent exhibitions up. Ship class Type C shuttlecraft has been marked for retirement. Alright. Archer should be right around in this area. Here he is. Having cleared away megatons of debris from the asteroid, VSS Tykar has uncovered an ancient structure millions of years old. Plotting the history of the object indicates it was captured in its current location after originating in the Asar system several thousand light years away. The structure still has a minuscule residential charge and would requires substantial effort to restore the, the operation restore uh, would require substantial effort to restore the to operation alternatively it could be deconstructed to harvest a rare elements that compromise its outer hole uh, i don't know if i want to repair the array or uh, where's it at it's here it's like my drug calls um we'll have the Construction ship dis, uh, disrepair it. Wait a minute. Actually cancel that. We're going to have you go check it out. See if it's going to be working. Alright, we made first contact again. Let's get somebody on that. And like I said, folks, there it is. There is the Federation. we got some missions going on over in Packland territory with Archer. We now have an election coming up. We need to get the support going for our leader nathan samuels um we have a mission also going out to uh not no it's not a mission we are just uh, repairing a dis uh an array blah, blah, blah. we are repairing an array at 26 draconis we're going to see what that does or what happens when we do that we do have the spaceship or the star base fairly well protected but we also have some constitution class ships out there as well that can help in the defense or attacking an enemy that's after us per se so we're gonna go on a little bit longer see what happens here all right here we go for this one i am going to do weapons and trade depot and we will go from there all right so nathan samuels still is our 
leader after all this time. So we'll keep going with that. I don't know how old that man is now, but he's got to be pushing over 100. But we will catch you guys next week on the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to watch for that Easter egg. It would be very important. See you guys next time.